Welcome back to the comment section. I'm Brett Cooper. Do you all know that CNN started a streaming service? I did not realize that. Yeah. Russell, did you realize that? No, I did not realize that. Well, they did. They launched it March 29th of this year, and they poured $300 million into it. $300 million. Spent a lot of dough. A lot of dough. Wow. And they had slated to spend hundreds of million dollars more as they were building out content. This was like the next big thing. And guess how many daily viewers it was getting? Less than 10,000. <laughs> and no, that's not a joke. To put it in perspective, we're getting about 10 times more viewers on this channel per day than CNN was getting. And I think we probably spent about 0.000006% of what CNN spent on their launch. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling pretty good about myself at the moment. I am owning the lives. I am owning CNN. It's great. That number was reported a couple of weeks ago, and people started speculating that CNN might have an early death date, an early expiration date, if you will. Well, they were not wrong. Less than a month after its launch, this was yesterday, Warner Media, which is CNN's parent company, officially announced that they are scrapping CNN Plus. I mean, it's just... This is such a beautiful day. Guys, it's Earth Day, the weather is wonderful, the sun is shining, and CNN Plus is canceled. The internet has been exploding over this, and it's basically the best present that the political right could have been given. Like this tweet, it was probably one of the first I saw, it was so good. Things that lasted longer than CNN Plus. Quibi, Tom Brady's retirement, Kim Kardashian and Chris Humphrey's marriage, the war in Granada, Coney 2012, William Henry Harrison's presidency. The time it takes to watch every episode of Game of Thrones. The lifespan of a dragonfly. So good. Another one is hashtag fire festival is more successful than the outhouse feces that is CNN Plus. If you think you're having a bad day, imagine being Chris Wallace who left Fox to be the star of CNN Plus and CNN Plus immediately failed. Yeah, you jumped ship at the wrong time. Let this be a lesson in not being too big for your britches. CNN Plus didn't even last as long as Jeffrey Tubit during a Zoom meeting. <laughs> if you don't know what that reference is about, I'm not going to explain it. You have the internet, you can look it up yourself. <laughs> you were caught masturbating on camera. Um, you got it all right, sad to say. Uh, mm, professionalism, I'm so sorry. The failure of CNN Plus and lapsing of Obama's Spotify contract related. Sh establishment content previously force-fed to us in a cable monarchy era simply cannot compete in the free market of streaming. The revolution has just begun. Okay, yes, did you guys see that Spotify canceled the Obama podcast? My first thought was they have a podcast? I had no idea that was going on. That's the background and the updates, but to celebrate the life of CNN Plus because this episode is basically a uh, funeral for the platform. I thought we could revisit some of its brightest moments of its very short-lived life. Uh, I pulled some clips. There really are not a lot of them because the platform was only available for 21 days, <laughs> but we're going to watch some of these. This new streaming video service is launching on Tuesday. It's a big deal in the media business because it's the biggest bet any company has made in the news streaming world. CNN's hired hundreds of people and created dozens of new shows oh, for the service. Depressing. It's kind of like Netflix and HBO Max. You can see it there because you sign up and you get a library of TV shows and films. But it's different because you also get live news. Instead of cutting off a segment for a commercial break, you'd let stories be as long or as short as they deserve because there are no ads or hard outs. And you'd have time for anchors to share more, uh, like Anderson Cooper having time to talk about parenting and Jake Tapper to interview what? authors without all the breaking news interruptions that you're used to on TV. Oh, he's such an insufferable potato. Potato head. That's Mr. Potato Head to you. Uh, CNN on TV is one of the most popular channels on all of cable in the US and it's watched around the world on satellite. So we're gonna keep doing what we do 24 seven. It's one of the most popular channels. So many people view it, really? This is like a nine minute long video. I'm not going to watch the whole thing because Brian Stelter makes me want to die inside. But he got ratioed real hard on this. Uh, the comments <laughs> killed me. This is literally funnier than SNL skits. Uh-huh. I love how Brian Stelter is so excited for something no one else is interested in. <laughs> yeah. Like watching those 
and knowing how it all turned out, it does bring me joy. When the bald egg said CNN on TV is one of the most popular shows in the U.S., I almost had a seizure for f***'s sake. Now there's more. Don Lemon had a very short-lived show. Here's the trailer for it. I'm Don Lemon, and we are live. Do you think any of this has to do with race? Yes. There are people spending five to 20 years in prison for something that is now legal. Do you think this is a gender issue? Would they be calling a guy crazy? I have much to say about what's being said. I'm listening. Here we go. Go ahead and jump in. Maybe we need to think about changing the law. I'm trying to figure out if I'm a smoke before or after this show. <laughs> say what? And even when I'm on top, can't stop, won't stop. Uh, so basically, Don Lemon's whole show is just asking people if they're oppressed. Do you think this is about race? Do you think this is about the patriarchy? Do you think these people deserve to be in prison? What are you? An arm of the social justice warrior monarchy? Probably. I'm convinced that most of the low viewership CNN Plus is people that are just checking in on how bad it is. And yes, it is bad. Here's to remembering actual journalism into a brave new world like 1984. Oh, so we heard Brian Seltzer give us a little hint about what Anderson Cooper would be doing on this platform. Parenting advice? Let's see what he has to say. So I'm very excited to announce that I have a new weekly show that's going to be available on CNN Plus, CNN's new streaming service, debuting in early 2022. My show is going to be called Parental Guidance, or PG with AC, or ACPG, or PGAC. I'm seeking out parenting advice from experts as I try to navigate life as a working dad. Because I don't know about you. I, well, I do know about you. I feel like I have, you know, no idea at some point what I'm doing. Well, I mean, we're all learning. It's a it's a growth process. Oh God, I'm excited so for your new show. I am That's too. Thank you. Yeah, a new show. <laughs> oh God. Every year, Anderson Cooper and Andy Cohen host the CNN coverage of the ball dropping New Year's Eve, New York City, Times Square, and they are always belligerently drunk. But him pitching a show about parenting advice while he can barely stand up straight and Andy Cohen is hanging on him like a chimpanzee. Not a good look. Somebody said stick to propaganda, not parent advice. Okay, last one. CNN is just really hanging on to the whole Jesse Smollett story. Uh, it's really the greatest thing to ever happen to them. And so they decided for CNN Plus, they were going to do a little expose on it. Hello? 911, hello? I just, I, just, I just need a police to come by. I work with an artist. I, I, I don't really want to say his name, but there's some guys. I don't know, they jumped him or something like that. I how cringe it is. We had a hate crime. Jesse Smollett was attacked. Jesse Smollett became a national news story literally hours after it occurred. This has been an incredibly difficult time. It is a lie! This was the hottest story in America. Numerous detectives were assigned to this. Only this. We did have a little bit of suspicion. There's no way I'm going to let this not be solved. There are usually straight lines to how a crime can go down in Chicago. This was anything but a straight line. This is where the legitimacy of the system is called into question. I've been truthful and consistent on every level since day one. You've been truthful I'm and consistent? I'm hanging my head and asking why. What does justice look like? Are we looking for justice or revenge? That is one big pile of shit. He did it himself. Like the ruling had already come out that Jesse was the perpetrator of his own hate crime. Why, why is CNN still hanging on to this? To this blatant lie? I mean, this should be the perfect example of the fact that all that they do is propaganda and misinformation. The first comment. This is like the video form of diarrhea. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry for all the comments I've been reading today. <laughs> Streaming on April Fool's Day seems like an appropriate date. I didn't even notice that. Oh my God, it came out April 1st. <laughs> was that intentional? Were they actually trying to be clever? Aren't you just shocked that this was canceled? This entertainment and this hard hitting news. <laughs> I think that we should all just take a moment of silence for, for CNN and Brian Seltzer's ego. I just think he would really appreciate that. 
Hey guys, we're adding new comment section content every day. So make sure you like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you don't miss a single video.